and welcome back to my channel. I've come back on today to do the results of the five truths, five myths challenge. Thank you to everybody who left comments trying to guess which ones are right and which ones were a myth. Um, nobody got all five right, but there was two people that got four out of the five right. So those two people I'm going to send a little something to in the post. Majority of people got three out of five. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go through the answers with you now. Number one, I love the film Grease. I don't, I really, I really don't like Grease. I've never actually sat down and watched Grease from start to finish. I've just never fancied it. Um, so no, I think it's a, a popular one for most people of, of my age. But no, I don't like uh, I don't love Greece at all. Number two, I met my husband on Valentine's Day. Yes, that is true. I met my husband. I was out with my friend and her boyfriend at the time. I kept saying I don't want to go out. It's Valentine's Day. We're full of saddos out there on their own. But um, no, I, I met my husband on, on a Valentine's Day evening out. Um, number three, I have a toadstool tattoo on my left shoulder. Um, Jessica Marvel made me laugh in the comments because she wanted this to be true, but it isn't, I'm afraid. No, I don't have any tattoos on my body at all and I've no intention of getting any, um, let alone a, a toadstool. So that one is a myth. Number four, one of my childhood pets was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Bisto. This is true, I did. He was called Bisto because of the brown. He was brown and white. He was a Blenheim. Cavalier King Charles, um, so the brown, when we were younger we said it looked like gravy, so we called him Bisto. Gorgeous dog, absolutely beautiful, such an affectionate little dog, he would cuddle you, he was lovely. And he died quite young, unfortunately, he was poorly and you know, it was very, very sad. So that is true, we did have Bisto. Number five, I love the series The Walking Dead, this is true. Um, quite unlike me really, I've got quite a, a wide range of things that I do like to watch and The Walking Dead I really did enjoy. I mean I didn't watch the series when it was aired live, I've actually just binge watched it as they call it now. Um, just recently I trawled through all of the, the seasons of, of that so yes I do, I do love that series. Uh, number six, I used to be a massive rugby league fan. This is also true. Yes, I was a huge Carlisle rugby league fan. Uh, the club no longer exists. It um, merged with Barrow, which is in the south of Cumbria. South, they're now called the Barrow Raiders, I think. Um, don't follow rugby league at all anymore. Um, I'm a Carlisle United football fan now. But yes, that is, that is true. Number seven, each year I run the Cumbrian Run Half Marathon. This isn't true. No, I have never run any kind of marathon um, and I just can't run. Hopeless at it. My husband has run several of these Cumbrian runs though and he's done very well. But for me, that one was false. Number eight, I once won a large amount of money on a Las Vegas slot machine. This isn't true. I have been, me and my husband did go to Las Vegas and... I did win $35 on a slot machine, but it wasn't a large amount of money. So it was, would have been very nice to have won, but it was still a great experience and a lovely holiday as well. Number nine, I lived in Nottingham for four years. This is true. When I met my husband, he worked in Newcastle for Balfour BT. He has a, he's a, works in rail as an engineer. Um, and three months after we did meet on the Valentine's Day, he got a job offer in Nottingham and he moved down there. So it was a bit of a, were we still going to carry on seeing each other going out together? And we did. And we managed a long distance relationship for four years before we got engaged. And I took the plunge and I moved down to Nottingham with him, where we lodged initially with one of his work colleagues. And then we actually bought a house down there. I worked at the Queen's Medical Centre, really, really large hospital down there, um, the clerical department for the orthopaedic clinic. And we stayed for four years, but we were starting to think about planning a family and we didn't want to do it so far away from home. So that's when we made plans to, to, move, to move home and we did so. 
And the last one, I have claustrophobia. No, I haven't got a fear of enclosed spaces at all. Um, so that one is a myth. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Those were the... So it's number two, number four, number five, number six, and number nine were the truths. So the two people that got the most right, they got four right, was Mel with Melis Makes and M, Emma Lou Loves. So Mel and M, I'll send you a little something in the post. So well done for getting the most right. And I really enjoyed this. It was great fun. So thanks for playing along and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.